Male chastity is a deeply taboo topic and not one that many people would ever dare to admit to being curious about. But lately, I've been receiving a lot of requests for a video on this topic. So that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. What male chastity is, why anyone would be into it, what are the best ways to play with it, and more. My name is Helena Nista and I make videos that help you have the best sex of your life. And in this video, we're going deep into the topic of chastity for men. So because this video is not just about chastity, but about male chastity specifically, I made sure to dig deep for you guys. In order to give you the most helpful and accurate information, I did a lot of research, including some very insightful interviews with men who enjoy this type of behavior. And this is what I learned. But Let's start at the beginning. What actually is male chastity as a sexual behavior? Male chastity is an experience where a man is denied sexual gratification and sexual intimacy by his partner. That can sound really extreme for someone who is not into it. But what about those who are? Let's start by talking about why anybody would be into it. There are a lot of people who are into the DS dynamic, meaning dominance and submission, or power play, which happens when one of the partners becomes the dom, the dominant partner, and the other one takes on the role of the sub, the submissive partner. And so the chastity can become an expression of that dynamic for a couple. It's a surrender of yourself and of your satisfaction while your partner is taking control of your sex life. The interesting thing about male chastity chastity is that this dynamic is not necessarily just about sex. It can be much more encompassing where your partner is actually taking control over much more than just your sex life together. They can also control many of your activities, behaviors or aspects of your life like food, your sleep patterns or what you're allowed to do in different situations. But all depends on specific agreements around that in each couple. So then, why would anybody want to surrender so much of their life or of their sex life? According to the men that I interviewed, the reason is that there's joy in surrender. There is freedom in surrender. There is rest and serenity in it, which sounds truly beautiful, actually. And there's also a deep pleasure in experiencing arousal activated in your body and high levels of desire for extended periods of time with no fulfillment of that arousal or desire. This can feel like aliveness, vitality, and a deep sense of connection to the person providing that limitation to your ability to become sexually fulfilled. It can also feel extremely freeing to just let go of any control and be completely at the mercy of your partner. And this power dynamic can feel particularly fulfilling for any man who has a fair amount of power responsibility and control in his day job or in any other aspects of his daily life. That full surrender to his partner can provide a real sense of a break from the rest of his life. It seems that in many cases, men who experience a desire for sexual behaviors that are outside of the box are simply born that way. But in order for the desire for male chastity to become activated, there must be an openness, courage, and a sense of adventure in him, which is the case for most sexual behaviors that fall outside of that narrow vanilla sex definition. If someone is interested in male chastity and wants to start exploring it, what are the best ways to practically play with it? The first thing that comes to mind is definitely role play with the man being denied and with his partner doing the denying. Here, one person has the power and the other one is doing the submitting. Make sure to reach an agreement first about the period of time where sex is off the table. This can range from the next 10 minutes to the next 10 months, etc. Also, agree on what you mean by sex. Is it touching, kissing, or strictly penetration and genital play? It's important to be clear what exactly is being denied here. Other strategies that couples can also play with here are not being allowed to sleep at night in the same bed as your partner for a certain period of time. Or using edging where the man is stimulated sexually and is brought close to orgasm but then is denied the satisfaction of a climax. It might also involve the man having to edge himself and to do that repeatedly without being allowed to orgasm. 
Some couples also involve chastity devices in their play where the man is locked in such a device for different periods of time. The men I've spoken to expressed that male chastity wasn't present in every one of their relationships over the years. Typically, they could experience it in the more committed, long-term connections. However, there might still be other, more subtle forms of playing with male chastity in those other shorter relationships as well. Because when you are with someone, you really need to find that overlap between what both of you are into in bed. And if there's no room for exploration of male chastity within that overlap, then that's okay too. Similarly to any other taboo topic, the conversation with your partner needs to be approached with a lot of patience and care. On one hand, your energy here will be very important. If you talk about male chastity with a level of guilt, shame or discomfort, your partner will pick up on these feelings and may reject the whole idea simply because of the uncomfortable emotions present in your conversation. However, if you talk about it with a sense of peace and confidence, you will actually show your partner that it's okay to explore this dynamic. So approach it as confidently as you can, while at the same time remembering that your partner has a right to say no. I also really want to clarify something else here. Playing with male chastity is not about loss of desire or about becoming a sexist couple, not at all. And for anybody uninitiated into this world and looking at it from the outside, it can look like the man just doesn't want to have sex anymore. Which might beg the question, oh, doesn't he want his partner anymore? Is he not attracted to her? But that's not the case at all. It is the very fact that he wants to have sex with her a lot that makes the whole denial and submission so meaningful. There's no point and no strength in submission to not doing something that you don't feel like doing anyway. And if you'd like to learn about something else worth playing with in your relationship, then make sure to check out my online course, Tantric Sex for Couples. Tantra is a beautiful path of enriching your connection together through stronger intimacy, deeper passion, and a whole lot of playfulness in the bedroom. You'll find the link to the entire program in the description bar below. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave me a like and a comment below. Have you ever met anyone interested in male chastity? or maybe it was yourself. I always read your comments and I respond to them all personally. And I can't wait to see what you write under this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Have a fabulous day and I'll see you next week.